The 11th Region Boys title on the line tonight, Dunbar and Scott County. Both teams shot 30% from the field for the game. Second quarter, Dunbar leading, but Cooper Robb hits the three and the Cardinals trail 20 to 14. Tavion Hollingsworth gets in the lane, and this makes it 25-16. That was the score at halftime. Third quarter, Rob stays inbounds along the baseline. Scott County would pull within two, but that's as close as they could get. Hollingsworth on the nice pass from Darius Williams. He had 21. 51-39, Dunbar going back to state for the first time since 1997. Since losing in the first two years I've played for Dunbar, since losing first round districts, to be here is exciting. You know, last year we had the whole same group, so they've been through the disappointment, and now they're getting to enjoy the, the excitement of getting it done. Oh, man, it feels good. It feels better than everything, actually. It's like our goal, actually, pretty much. It's the first win district in the region next to state. One more to go. Boys, 10th region, Paris Mason County, Jordan Davis for three, and the Greyhounds lead by 19. Then, here comes Mason County. Isaiah Garrison with a spin move in the basket, 40 to 33, Paris at the half. Second half, the Royals erupt. Connor Sweeney, the 15-footer, Mason's first lead of the game, 42-41. The lead grows to seven. Pig Williams in the lane. He had 25, but Paris fights to stay alive. Jerk Kobe Wells on the glass, the rebound, the putback, and one. And then the play of the game, the Greyhounds threatening. Levi Dunaway with a steal. He goes all the way, the basket and the foul. Mason County wins it 67-63. Yeah, we, we got one more. We're 32 minutes away, so I'm so proud of these kids, man. We're, we're close. We just got to have one more great effort tomorrow night. It's great, man. I've been a part of his team since my freshman year, and we, have, we haven't we have had no type of success. Nobody f felt like we would be where we're at right now. I'm happy with the guys, and we just got, we got one more game, and we just have to stay together as a family and play. Now, Augusta has won two straight postseason games at the buzzer tonight facing Montgomery County. Connor Maddox, the drive and one, and he is pumped. Back the other way, the Indians' heart, Walker, dials it in from three and connects. But Montgomery County had no answer for Cameron Snap and the Panthers. The drive around the defense, Augusta in the region final, 63-49. We've got Mercer County and Southwestern meeting in the semifinals in the third. Logan Dykes steps in the passing lane, goes the other way for the layup. Warriors were down by seven. Next possession, Mercer's Trevon Faulkner gets the bucket to go plus the foul. Final minute of the quarter. He's number one in your hearts, not listed on the roster, though. Drives baseline to bring Southwestern within four, but Mercer pulls away in the fourth. Malik Dow getting his own putback here. Mercer County winner, 85-66. Boyle County or Casey County would meet in the finals. Boyle County's Jason Alexander drives through the lane, lays it in for the first points of the game. Later, Alexander delivering the bounce pass to Mac Cox, Mac Cox for two points. But Casey had the answer. Wyatt Sloan hitting the long jumper here. And Casey County pulls off the win by three tonight, 60 to 57.